your boy Joe back at it again man codingface.com listen your boy is back I didn't did it again guys listen I've been telling you guys I was gonna review this course man your boy Colt Steel one of my favorite two instructors right one of my favorite two instructors in the world one of the people that I basically tip my hat to because they helped me become a developer it's that simple there's no way around it. There's no way to lie to you guys. It's not going to tell you, hey, YouTube made me a, a developer. Team Treehouse made me a developer. Uh, Code Academy made me a developer. No. These are the guys that pretty much, like, if I could, I will give them, like, a check. Like, here, man. Here's 10% of what I earn now just because you basically, you set me up for life, right? You know, some people say, hey, you're going to come here and... I could come here and just give you, say, uh, $10,000 in your hand and try to make it with that. But if you come and you teach me how to actually learn how to code, like, I'm going to be completely grateful about this because from there on, I can make $10,000 whenever I want. You know what I mean? So now, most of these courses, they're worth a lot of money. Like, I'm being honest. I've actually done tutorials. I've actually done uh videos and i know the work that they put into those courses right especially cold steel you know it's between cold steel stephen grider those two guys they're like that neck to neck for me i believe they're the best their voices is clear right they know how to pre prepare a, a course they just don't wing it you know like a lot of people come on youtube and do a video and it's like oh i wing it uh, you know, you know, you know what I mean? I'm not going to name no names, but they just wing it, you know, when it comes to tutorials. So they don't explain to you why things are happening, uh, why they are important, why you should learn this course, why you should learn um, a programming language or, you know, a database, whatever it is. Right. But yeah. And like I always tell you guys, buy the course from Colt Steel, the web developer boot camp that that one right there changed my life like i learned html css bootstrap everything from that course and you know where i'm at now right now colt just basically created a new course right and i feel like he's been in a hiatus he's been living off you know that first web developer bootcamp because it's that good even you know years later that course can still be shown to people and people are gonna get something out of them, right? Now, think about this. My SQL, which is one of the best languages to learn in the world right now, because everywhere you go, they need somebody who knows my SQL, right? Or even regular SQL, you know, it could be regular SQL server, it could be Postgres. Like once you know one SQL language, one SQL database, basically from there on. All the other ones are easy. You pretty much can understand them. But the number one is MySQL. And before I even start this whole uh, review on the course, I wanted to show you guys just with proof, right? So automatically, you're going to see this thousands of jobs out there, right? That's just the 75,000 and up, right? That's just like the 75,000 and up. But at the same time, there's so many things like database developer, intern, uh, junior PHP, web developer, entry level software developer. Like MySQL pretty much is like your door, you know, your, your door to getting into this industry. It can be one of those doors, right? Of course, if you know HTML, CSS, if you know JavaScript, if you know databases, right? So if you know these things, you're pretty much going to be successful. Like, it's not just knowing uh, the view, knowing just the front end. You also need to know a little bit of the back end and know a lot of the my, you know, my SQL databases. Like, it's just to be honest with you guys. If you wanted to do WordPress, you need to know my SQL. If you wanted to do Drupal, you got to know my SQL. Those are like the places where you could literally step outside and you're going to trip over jobs because they're everywhere. WordPress is a million jobs in WordPress, right? Now, there's a, a very specific group like of you guys that 
yeah, I love Node.js, right? But at the same time, MongoDB is not like one of those technologies that is everywhere. Not everyone is using NoSQL at all. Everybody uses SQL, not NoSQL, SQL, which is MySQL, PHP, Postgres, or there's a whole bunch of other ones, right? So pretty much your boy Colt created a new course, and I'm just giving you a little background before I even start into this, right? So there's thousands of jobs on this thing, right? If you come here and you start looking around, see that MySQL and just SQL in general is the most powerful and most popular language out here right now, right? Everywhere you go, there's jobs for it. So everybody needs to know it, at least the basics, right? Now, if you keep looking down and we keep going, we say, hey, let's keep looking at this thing, right? Just on SQL alone, you can make 50000 right? And that's not even nothing crazy because you could come here and you could see that my SQL is 55% of the industry using it right now, right? And then you have MongoDB 21%. Almost nobody uses it. MongoDB like you know it's great it's something cool it's something that we love you know because it's, it's closer to JSON right but at the same time it's not it's not really a, a industry standard the industry standard is MySQL so your boy Colt Steele created this course hey everyone welcome to the ultimate MySQL developer bootcamp I know it's a bit of a mouthful of a title my name is Colt I'll be your instructor for this course so in my experience, the first couple minutes of any course, sometimes the first day of a college lecture, is all devoted to introducing the instructor, talking about the syllabus, and talking about TAs, and exercises, and turning in assignments, and you don't actually get to cover much of the content that you care about. But this is a MySQL course. I want to talk about MySQL as soon as possible. So here's the promise I'm going to make you. I'm going to talk about who I am and my background, if you care about that. I'm going to talk about what the course covers, what it doesn't cover, I'll show you the projects assignments, all that fun stuff in just the next four minutes. And then by the next five minutes, by the fifth minute of this course, we'll be typing SQL code. We won't have to install anything, we won't have to get set up. Uh, we have this nice workaround in the browser where you'll be able to actually run code immediately. Okay, so that's my promise to you. With that said, I'll shut up, I'll start talking about myself, who I am in the next video, and then we'll move on to the syllabus and so on. But Yeah, so anyways. That's just, if you don't know, that's Colt Steel. That's my boy. <laughs> you know, he basically got just an amazing course here, guys, man. Like, let's look into this thing, right? All right, so right now, of course, you're going to see all the checks on our through because there's a lot of stuff that I already know, so I skip through it. I just basically start going, you know, video by video, see exactly what he has, and I could basically tell which are good, which are not. But... Pretty much, like, not even lying to you guys, like, every video is good. I don't skip through every single one and was like, yo, he's basically breaking down shit that took me a long time to learn and broke it down in a very simplistic way. All right? And, you know, there's, like, so many cool things. Like, he teaches you how to insert data, which is the basics. You know, how to create a database. Uh, basically, CRUD commands. You know, gives you a little challenge to get you started. You know, uh, aggregating functions, revising data types, the power of logical operators, right? All of this stuff, it might seem crazy, it might seem foreign, but all of those things are, are the foundation of MySQL. And once you learn these things, you're going to be set. Like, you're going to be able to use Laravel. Right? You're going to be able to use uh, WordPress. You're going to be able to use Drupal. You're going to be able to create apps in Node.js with MySQL. Because if you already took the Web Developers Bootcamp, which you know already is good. Now, imagine this. What he did here was give you basically Node.js, revising Node.js again, but showing you the way of how to build a website with MySQL. You know? Instagram, he basically gives you an Instagram database clone. Working with lots of Instagram data, which <laughs> sounds funny, but yeah, it's pretty much it. It's like working with big data and understanding it. 
you know, giving you a, a full web app. So not only are you learning MySQL, you also learning everything from Node.js and just to get you started right away. Now, I will say guys, like this is a given, right? I'm not even lying to you guys. Like this is straight up given. If you don't have this course and you love Node.js, you giving yourself a, a, a disservice right now because number one, you have to be able to be open to different technologies. There's a lot of people who be like, oh, it's the mean stack. It's this stack, whatever, right? Guys, MySQL is the number one database in the world, period, right? Now, I'm not saying that it's the best. I'm just saying that it's the one that everybody has, right? So when you're going to go for that first job, they're going to ask you, hey, do you know MySQL? That's the first thing they're going to ask you. After you give them a little, you know, a little background on yourself and be like, hey, I know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and a little jQuery, you know, a little bit of React or Angular. Then from there, they're going to ask you, hey, what do you know about the back end? And then you're going to come in and be like, oh, yeah, I know MongoDB and Node.js. And they're going to be like, oh, man, that's cool. But at the same time, do you know MySQL? Soon as they hit you with that. You're going to be able to say, hey, yeah, I know MySQL too. I've actually worked with NoSQL database and also MySQL database, which is, you know, just regular SQL. And yeah, guys, like, come on, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to freaking lie to you guys, man. This is one of my favorite uh, instructors out here. That's one of the reasons why I basically always put his course on my videos and I don't know him personally I haven't gotten uh, the chance to talk to him um, I've talked to uh, other instructors I've talked to Stephen Grider and stuff like that but I haven't had the chance to talk to Colt Steele I don't know him personally so it's not like hey this is my friend and I'm promoting his course no this is somebody who basically taught me how to become a web developer who created another course that is amazing and I'm ready to just tell the world about it now you guys are getting a preview of it right there's so many cool things on this course that I'm gonna tell you like this guys like you have to buy this course now right now Udemy is having a sale for the last day is today for ten dollars I think after that is gonna be fifteen dollars or twenty dollars right and then they might bring it back up somewhere at the end of the month for another ten dollars right but I will say like this to you guys if you already started the web developer bootcamp or you completed it, this is where you graduate at. This is where you're going to get your skills that's going to have you ready to go out to the world and basically start getting this money, man. Like, I don't know about you guys. Like, I don't do this thing for fun. Like, I love creating my own personal projects. But at the same time, lights got to get paid. And when I say that is... I learn technologies that's going to put money in my pocket. I don't learn things just to learn it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I put in a little extra on something cool like Crystal Lang. But 99% of the time, I only learn things that is going to put money in my pocket. And this right here, my sequel, it, it already paid itself a million times. And I had to learn this the hard way. I had to learn this thing the hard way. The way how I learned this thing was, you know, going from Code Academy. Uh, then from there, from Code Academy, checking online on, on what is it, W3C School. What is it, W3C School? Um, <laughs> let me see. Uh, tutorials or something like that. Where I was like, let me see, my sequel. See if they still even have that page. W3 school. This is how I learned this thing. I had to come here and read this thing, try it for myself, go to the next thing. Then, you know, look at this, go to the next thing. Something like that, guys, to be honest, it was hard because it's like I, I'm learning by myself. Not only is it hard because you're learning by yourself in your house, but it's also hard because now you're going from page to page to resource to resource to basically learn a technology or a programming language or whatever right but in this course you get everything you know from how to install it how to use it on the browser how to create it 
create your own database, how to maintain it, like create your own crud, deal with big data. Like there's so much good things in this course that, you know what, man, like you guys, you guys know me. Like I don't, I don't play around when it comes to the courses. You've seen what I've done. And when I review a course, I've basically said the truth about it. When a course is pretty bad, you can find me saying it's bad. Go look it up. <laughs> look it up in my, my channel. There's a course out there where it was bad. And I gave it a really bad review. Now, this, this is where the good things is at, guys. Straight up. All right? So, I'll see you guys later. You already know it's your boy, Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, check the description, guys. From now on, I'm putting this course on my description of the courses that people need to learn. And I'm also putting it on the website. Codingface.com slash resources. Every time that you click on that link, you support me. And not only that, I make sure that you get it for cheap. That's why you got to come back to this channel and make sure you click on the links below because I make sure that you guys get it for cheap. All right. Like I always say, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. All right. See you guys later. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much, I took the courses, they're pretty cheap, they're like $15 each on specials, and just, listen man, change your life, change your lifestyle, do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bye.